from a horticulturist dream world to this uncultivated, rather depressing stretch of countryside. Not far from London, but to all intents and purposes in the middle of nowhere, even the most top secret activities could pass unnoticed. Hearing about this hidden underground rendezvous, we laid in wait for our mysterious early morning caller and grimly determined, followed him. It had occurred to us that this must be a cunningly concealed wartime air raid shelter. But the war had been over for 15 years. And what was that suspicious looking object the stranger was carrying? However, although this is the most unusual sight we've ever encountered for a factory, there's quite a simple explanation. The work carried out here is so precise that a constant temperature is necessary, and in this underground shelter it never varies winter or summer. Neither is there any mystery about the work itself. The men here belong to a Coolsden Surrey firm which manufactures telescopes. The round object we saw being brought in was, of course, a mirror. The construction of a telescope can take as long as 18 months. That is, apart from the giant ones, which naturally take longer. So we're only showing a small section of the work during which a 20-inch mirror is finally polished. Men like Frederick Hargreaves here are used to working to such microscopic limits that the degree of error on the mirror's concave area can never be more than 1 20th of a wavelength of sodium light. Or, to the layman, 1 2 millionth of an inch. The telescope, as we know it, hasn't changed very much since the days of Newton, having a primary concave mirror and a secondary reflector. And although much of the public's imagination has been captured recently by the radio telescope, their uses and consequent value are quite separate and complement each other. At this stage, incidentally, the silver compound is added to the polished glass. If it's just a looking glass you're after, this is obviously not the place to come. Mirrors like these reflect the dreams of all those who look to the heavens for the future of mankind.